Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and as like promise you, today I'll show you this explosion. So it's really very nice, very interesting tutorial and if you are ready, we can go. Ok, we are in Cinema 4D and we are start from our plugin Turbulence FD, Turbulence FD container. So create it, I have somewhere here. And what size I will use for today tutorial? It will be 1000 for 1000 for 1000. Don't try to use a big size of your container and big size of voxel for start simulation. Voxel will be 10. Ok, simulation cache folder, I'll use somewhere on my disk. Uh, just for your information, if you follow to this tutorial, be ready that uh, you will lose more than 300 gigabytes, approximately 360 gigabytes for all this explosion. So you have to use or your hard drive or um, I don't know, maybe some external hard drive, it's absolutely up to you. What next? Uh, cache velocity and cache collision. We need it. Uh, going to viewport preview and in the channel change to density. More of the uh, more information of settings you can see in uh, in this tutorial. Uh, you can follow to tutorial two to two subscribers and check all settings about turbulence FD. Today we will do just explosion. Ok, for simulation we will return little bit later. What we have? We have very big container, 1000 cm and now we are create a particles, particle emitter. Change rotation directly to the up and what we have? If you use this particle emitter, I will put somewhere just a moment, ok, maybe somewhere here. And now we add to this particle emitter turbulence tag turbulence emitter. We will play one, 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 like this. And if I start a simulation, plugins, turbulence FD simulation window, if I start simulation, what I have? I have like this. Almost nothing happened. Almost I cannot see nothing. So, uh, I am going to turbulence container to the simulation and change burn for active, fuel active, density active. Don't change any settings we will use like we have. Ok, check now, again start. Yeah, we already have some fire, but it looks like not any explosion. So change a radius of my emitter for, I don't know, maybe for 5. Start again and it looks like more interesting. Ok, how to set up our emitters for receive very interesting uh, fire effect. Uh, we are going to emitter, we are going to emitter size <coughs> and we will set up it for uh, only 25 and 25 centimeters. We will use a cone and I don't know, maybe 25 degrees. Then going to particle. And in the particle, uh, we'll increase burst editor, uh, editor and render editor. I don't know, maybe it will be 10,000. Uh, start emission will be on the frame number 10. Finish emission will be frame number 15. Like this. Uh, what next? Our lifetime will be only, I don't know, only 20 frames with uh, variation 100%. Uh, speed for this emission will be only 50 with variation 100%. Rotation, yeah, we can use some rotation and end scale 0, like this. So, uh, settings here and settings here, just follow to my tutorial. Ok, going back, going to simulation window and start again. What we have? Ok, now it's already looks like very very small explosion. 
uh, what we will do next. Uh, for your information, for one container, we can use many different emitters. So we are going for top view, like this, and copy this emitter, like this, then collect both of them and copy here. Now we have four emitters. We can call, I don't know, emitter 0, 1, 2, 3. We can leave these names. So for emitter number like a zero yeah we will put emitter number zero emitter number zero will be without any change emitter number one uh, we will change only only start emission and finish for five frames forward it will be 20 and 15 so when uh, emitter number zero will finish directly start emitter number one then we are going here it will be uh, 25 and 20 and last emitter will be 30, 25. So what we have on the, our uh, simulation? 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see, 4 emitters start give me some explosion. Very nice. Uh, not necessary to change uh, radius because we have many, many particles. It's uh, 10,000 particles. We change only... Uh, I don't know, we change only settings for channel. So I like to receive more temperature, more explosion, like a more fuel. I'm going here and as you can see, temperature one, density one and fuel, I like to change to the five. So here, here, here and here. Very good. Again, make some simulation and check what we have. Okay, I can see now, yeah. Now I can see. So look at this. Uh, I already have some very interesting picture for a moment. Yes, uh, for a moment, because as you know, I use a uh, voxel stem. Yes, it's very big voxels. For final render, we will use less. I don't know, five, maybe three, maybe two. We will see. Okay, uh, as you can see what I have now. And it looks like already very, very interesting. What next? Uh, if I will, if I make a simulation now, I cannot see any additional uh, smoke which is going around. So I just going for simulation and add one more emitter, add one more emitter, and I call this emitter smoke. What settings will be for this emitter? Uh, I no need too much smoke, so it will be only ten thousand um, emi um, emitters. Yes, uh, particles. Sorry start emission will be approximately close to the end of my explosion so it will be 20 start and i don't know 30 finish what will be life i like to see my smoke very long time so if this emitters only 20 for smoke it will be approximately 50 speed also 50 rotation yeah we can add rotation and end scale also will be zero so everywhere i will put uh, 100 percent of variation going to emitter also it will be con and 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 i like to receive angel for 90 degrees so disable this and check what i have where is my emitter here just change rotation and put it down somewhere here very good and for smoke i don't know what size will be a size 50 and 50 so it will be size exactly same like all my fire emitters what i have if i play now very slowly you can see one two three and start some smoke around my explosion so for these emitters, for these uh, particles, you can add some turbulence, some gravity, I don't know, some collision object. If you will do some simulation, I don't know, close to Mount or to the city, you can put some building and will be collision. If you need, you can do it. Uh, but I live like this. For this emitter, also add some turbulence FD tag. And for this turbulence FD tag, I will use a very big size of radius. It will be 20 because I like to see too much smoke. And 
as you know in some of my previous tutorials, for smog I have to use only temperature and only density. So temperature will be very very small, uh, 0 0.5, but density will be very big, 5. I no need fuel, I no need burn. I keep like this. So uh, again enable my turbulence container and make some simulation from beginning, start. Yeah, you already can see some very interesting, uh, very interesting explosion. Yeah, it's like a like a mushroom, like a I don't know, like nuclear mushroom. Looks like very interesting. So, uh, what next? To receive some additional, um, I don't know, some additional effect, we can add one more uh, particle, one more emitter. Uh, we call it side fire sorry fire like this side fire what size will be for this emitter again it will be con again it will be i don't know maybe 50 50 i will use angel 25 for particles mm, i think will be same like this start emission uh, when we can use 40 and finish 50, I will show you what it will be now, just in few seconds. Life little bit more, speed little bit more, like usually rotation and end scale zero, with 100% of variation. Uh, where we can put it? So I going down, as you know, this blue line, blue arrow, this is direction of this emitter. So I like to receive, I don't know, maybe somewhere from this side. I will change like this and change like this. Maybe, maybe 30 degrees. Okay, very good. And now I put it down. For what? Uh, when I start from beginning, I have one explosion, second, third, fourth, then coming smoke. And when it's almost finished, from frame number 40, coming side explosion to give me some additional fire. Uh, yeah, also have angel. For this, I also add some turbulence emitter tag. Uh, size, I don't know, will be like for my fire, radius 5 and 1151. Like for my fire, same, will be same. Okay. What we will do, again enable container and make some simulation. Start. Yeah, as you can see, in this moment, uh, I have some side explosion in this area and it looks like very, very natural. If you like, you can add somewhere on the bottom or, or wherever you like, absolutely wherever you like. If you make a, some simulation or some, I don't know, some presentation or something uh, you have explosion of many objects on your scene you can add these emitters wherever you like and finally you will have good result don't afraid to use many emitters don't afraid because uh it's taking not to, not long time for simulation because this is just a particles these particles have not too much lifetime have not too much uh start and stop only five frames and for Almost for every computer, this will be not so very difficult. What next? I like to receive some additional, some additional very nice effect. Uh, now I'm make disable of these emitters. The settings already done. And I'll show you very, very interesting tricks. So I'm going for cube. I'm create some cube. Put this cube somewhere. Okay, we will, we will use here. Make size for this cube, I don't know, 50, 50, 50, exactly like my emitter size. Then put this cube inside to Voronoi, like this, and divide this cube, I don't know, for, okay, 20, 20 pieces will be enough. So we have some cube, which is divided. Uh, right click, select children, again, right click, current state to object, like this. In present moment, we already no need this Voronoi. We have Voronoi fracture, which is inside. We have many, many, many different particles, uh, sides of this cube, yeah? 
object. So uh, I no need all these selections. Absolutely. I need only some object. This is enough. What next? Now I create one more particle emitter and size for this particle emitter will be <laughs> will be 50 50 and I don't know maybe maybe 40 also will be con going to particles birth edition we no need only 10 it will be enough start emission I don't know we can use a 15 and finish emission will be 35 like this life 200 and speed we will do very very big speed rotation yes we need rotation and n scale zero so uh sorry yeah like this and inside in this emitter select show object like this what we have i'll show you what we have take all this object from voronoi we now need already voronoi and put inside to the emitter take this emitter change rotation and put it somewhere down to all my emitter objects. Okay, what I have. For what I do in this. If I start, yeah, uh, in present moment we no need container. If I start, I have like this. Some particles of my cube going out with very, very big speed and with rotation. Uh, now I can add to this emitter simulation tag rigid body. Inside rigid body I will use uh, for collision apply to children and individual elements all. Bounce will be only 10% and friction will be 100%. Uh, not necessary to use any additional shapes because we no need to see very beautiful animation of my object. Yeah, only, only I have to go to project settings to the dynamic to the expert and change step per frame not five maybe ten maybe ten this will be okay maybe 20 here and 20 here will be enough absolutely enough so going back to my emitter and create some i don't know we create some cube this will be like a floor why I use cube? Because uh, for cube, very easy to apply collision tags. We are going down. We are going somewhere here. Yeah, be a little bit down. If I apply my area, somewhere here. Okay, for this cube, I'll apply, first of all, simulation tag collider body with settings 10 and 100 like for my emitter simulation and also i apply a turbulence fd tag with a collision object only with this so now my cube effect for fire and effect for these particles so uh, check what i have if i play my particles going up and dropping down with very different speeds so i'm going somewhere here and i no need speed i no need variation 100 percent so i will reduce only for 50. what i have yeah like this why not okay for uh, make a good simulation of fire i have to put this simulation of my rigid body to the cache i am going here going to cache and make a bake object it will be very fast because I have not too much, mm, no, sorry, not for cube, for emitter, yes, somewhere here, bake object. Okay, I have like this, it's, it's changing, and now if I play, I have the simulation with very, very interesting particles. Uh, again, enable all my, now going to emitter, to right click and add turbulence fd emitter size not necessary and here we will put one 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 and one uh, going to my simulation window open turbulence container and start yes 
Yeah, you see what you have. You have some very interesting effect of explosions. It's going very far, very far distance. So to, to avoid this problem, we're going to emitter, to emitter particles and reduce uh, angle 35. Then go in here and again bake object. And when it bake. Yeah, and when it completed, again make a simulation. Yeah. Okay, very good. So, it is good. Finally, we can see everything. Very nice. What we have, you see, from beginning, we have explosion of some object which is going to different size. And when everything done, when you are satisfied with your animation, you will enable side fire, smoke, all four fire emitters, go into simulation window and start again. How many time it take? I not make a simulation to the final. All my animation take 360 frames with 24 frames per second. I'll do just, just maybe, I don't know, maximum to 180 or maybe 200 frames. Just to see what is going on. Okay. Very nice. What next? Uh, I don't like to see too much fire from my objects. I'm going to emitter and as you know, when life of my emitter is going to end, uh, 200 frames scale will be zero. Also, I'll do some settings for my tag, emitter tag. Uh, somewhere on the frame number, I don't know, 160, I will make K frames. And then when will be 200, it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, like this. So my emission will going to stop. Very nice. What I have? I have very interesting explosion with very nice elements. So with some particles which is going to different size. It's, it looks like very nice, like in my example which I showing you in beginning of this tutorial. Uh, what we are doing next, what we are doing next, we are create, uh, sorry, we are going to turbulence container and we are reduce a uh, voxel size. Like I told you, be careful with this. Uh, if you like to receive very beautiful result, of course, your voxel size should be smaller. Uh, but you have to do some experiments. For 360 frames, for all this simulation, finally, I had... Uh, more than 360 gigabytes and for that i use external hard drive uh, so before to start check size of your computer again when everything done i am going to simulation window and i am going to start yeah before this of course i'm going to save object i will use it tutorial explosion like this in other way can be some collapse when everything done going to first frame and start override yes override of course it's taking little bit longer time and as you can see some gigabytes of cache start going up but the frame uh, fire and smoke it will be very very beautiful sight so i am return after a few seconds okay simulation completed as you can see i make simulation for only for 110 frames it's taking approximately 30 minutes on my computer with one uh, gpu 980 and it's taken 66 gigabytes I forget to show you some settings for Turbulence FD container for simulation window. Inside simulation window, we enable burn, fuel, density and temperature without any change. For Turbulence, I doing uh, intensity 25 centimeters. For smaller size 25, larger size only 2 centimeters. For vorticity, I use 5, 5 units. And for wind, I use... a. Uh, 20 centimeters for one first direction not any other settings only like this i forget to show you before simulation yeah so please make this and after that doing simulation 
okay we are going back and 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 now i show you how it render with uh redshift so going to render redshift inside redshift we will enable ipr for for a moment only for 64 not any additional settings and i will use a bucket render for 256 okay very good open and play what we have in present moment we haven't we have nothing only some small particles okay um we are create a redshift material volume material and apply this material for our turbulence fd container anyway we have nothing uh, we have to create two lights any light you can do any light as you remember in my tutorials for today video i will use two area lights so take it increase size maybe like this and put somewhere here copy and paste somewhere here okay very nice for one light i will use it 10 intensity and for other light also 10 intensity but other color approximately like this color okay and for two lights i'm going to volume settings and increase up to one what i have now render and check again i cannot see nothing so going to volume light uh, material going to shader graph and what we have here uh, it's very interesting setting so we have only one node volume node we have basic and we have advanced first we start from basic in the channel for scatter i will use a density in channel for emission i use a temperature yeah okay you see i already have some smoke very very nice use some temperature and again wait a little bit coming update of the information okay what next uh emission it is it's mean fire so hold counter copy and change some colors dark orange light orange very light yellow and white color like this so before continuous i'll save it look at this looks like very very nice uh also i little bit reduce i little bit reduce my passes for 32 to increase a render it will be not so good quality but we can see a basic uh, our color okay uh, how it work first we are going to my scatter if i decrease uh, okay scatter coefficient if i increase it i have more white color of my uh, smoke if i decrease i have more black color i not change nothing for my smoke it will be nine uh, one for my scatter ramp if i drag and put somewhere here a white color you see my smoke coming more bright so i'll put somewhere here or i can make it more dark if i going to forward you can see yes what what is the change coming okay uh for smoke will be settings like this i like to receive very bright color next uh for my emission if i change uh scale i have more temperature as you can see i have more temperature for my emission i'll use i don't know maybe three because i like to see some temperature and for ramp if i turn this black to the forward i have i can see some smoke and some fire inside so it is very very interesting and very nice i will put maybe like this 
maybe like this, because I like to see smoke and I like to see some fire inside. If you are not satisfied, you can decrease and you can make like this. It's up to you. Yes, I will use like this, approximately like this. What next? Uh, next, uh, I show you what is mean absorption. Here we have some, I don't know, ram up ramp. If I change it, I have more black, more black smoke. Yeah, you see my computer going to stuck because very big calculation. I'll put somewhere here, then counter and drop down. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like this or maybe like this. By this, I will increase temperature of my fire, as you can see. So I'm going back, for example, frame number 80. I have to wait a little bit coming some update of my uh, my object, my geometry, and then I can see like this. Okay, looks like very nice. So we are going to advance it. What I have inside for density, some ramp range, and for fire, for emission ramp range. Okay, if I don't like to see too much smoke, I just have to reduce new max. For example, 0.5 and my smoke coming very small. If I reduce 0.1, I have really not too much smoke, it will be very, very bright. If I like to see very too much smoke, I will increase, I don't know, five or 10. And as you can see, finally I have like this, like a, for Minecraft for pixels. Okay, maybe I'll use five, only five. Okay, if I like to see more temperature, I will increase emission. You see what is going on. If I don't like to see temperature, I just decrease this emission and I have only somewhere. For emission, I will use a tree. And look at this. It looks like very, very interesting result. What next? Uh, in present moment, my fire don't give me any, any illumination. To receive some illumination, I have to go to Redshift Render, to GI, and Primary GI Engine change for Brute Force. Just push this button and check what I have. Now my fire give me some illumination. So I have illumination on the floor, illumination inside the smoke and everywhere. And it looks like very nice because I, I like to receive very high temperature. So I am going back to frame number, I don't know, number 100 approximately and check what I have finally. We have to wait, coming update and yes, it's, it looks like very nice, maybe 96. I like to find some, okay, we no need any more this volume graph, we are close it. Yeah, okay, I like to see it, I like to see this. Uh, for final render, uh, you can use full animation. It's taking long time, believe me, long time. For my computer, it's taking more than six hours for intro. Uh, but now I'll show you how to set up uh, renders, set up the files to receive very nice result. So I create a camera and I change camera direction for, I don't like to see a floor. I change like this, just a moment. Where is my camera? Yeah, here my camera. Now I'm close it. Put this camera down. And little bit pick up angel. This will be 90 degrees and little bit pick up angel. Yeah, maybe like this, okay. Uh, Look through the camera, very nice. Now I'll put little bit to the middle, maybe like this and somewhere, yeah, somewhere to the forward. So really very interesting picture. Again, go to IPR, check what I have. Wait a little bit, coming update. Yeah, looks like, looks like very nice. Okay, uh, when everything done, when you are satisfied, maybe I make frame number 90. 
maybe 90, 85. Check again. Wait a little bit. Yeah, this is very, very high division geometry. Okay, maybe 90. Too much fire I also like to see in beginning. Okay, yeah. So I like to see this picture and how to render it. You are going to render settings. Output. We will use full HD. We will use full HD. 19204. We will use only current frame. Only one frame. I show you how to make. Uh, finally, you will use, of course, all frames for good, uh, good rendering. Yes. Save. We will save on my desktop. I will create, sorry. On my desktop, I will create a folder. Name of this folder will be tutorial explosion. Inside in this tutorial explosion, where is it? Where is it? Inside in this tutorial explosion, name will be okay. Will be fire. Doesn't matter. And I'll use a PNG. Where is it? PNG file. Okay. After that, we are going to my Redshift. Inside Redshift, I'm going to Basic and increase my sample overrides. Going here and increase uh, volume for 256 to receive very good quality of my fire. Then I'm going to samples max and samples mean and make it approximately, I don't know, maybe, maybe 64 and maybe 32, maybe like this, or also 64, just to receive good result. Okay, when everything done, I am going to AOV. This is very important if you are doing some simulation of fire and render of your fire or any explosion. You are going to AOV, this is very important, and make it enable. Okay, inside in enable, you have to add two passes. Only two passes. It will be enough. One of them, inside in the type, should be volume fog emission. You will increase, uh, you will enable multipass for 32 bits and you will enable file output. I don't know, also for 32 bits for very good uh, color correction. For next one, for AOV2, multipass number two, you will use a volume lighting. Not necessary volume tint. This will be like a mask. Volume lighting. Okay. For volume lighting also save output and also file output for 32 bits, like this. Okay, when everything done, when you are ready, just check your brute force, check all your settings, you go and render one picture. Okay, render completed, as you can see, one frame uh, taking 51 seconds, but what we can see? We can see some noise. It is not a problem because we are doing some post-production in Adobe After Effects. So we are going inside Adobe After Effects, we are going to my uh, desktop, we are taking folder tutorial explosion and inside we have file PNG and two multipass. When you will do some uh, render of your animation, you will have some sequence, you have too much files. So I take all these three files and make it import. Okay, from fire, I will make a composition. I'll use, I don't know, maybe 16 bits for this composition. Then I take to my uh, multipass files and put above. As you can see, I have very dark picture. What next? To receive more bright result, I have to go to this multipass and make it like a screen. Yeah, you can make, of course, it add but it will be really bright. For my experience, I use a screen like this. So now I have to find multipass with fire. Multipass with fire, this number one. For multipass with fire, I am going and add some color correct curves. Make it more, I don't know, like this maybe. Maybe like this. to receive it more contrast result, like this. Very nice. What next? I will add 
Sam Stalice. Glow. I don't know, maybe a little bit decrease. And make it like this, maybe 300, only 20. Maybe more, 400. It's up to you, it depends from your composition. Okay, finally I have like this. If I haven't, and if I have. You see the difference, coming like a temperature. So very nice. Then I am going to smoke. And for smoke, also I will apply some color correct, some curves, and I make it more dark. More dark, and more contrast. No, maybe like this, more contrast. My mistake. Yeah. Very nice. If I haven't, and if I have. Looks like very nice. What next? To uh, reduce this noise, I have to add one more layer. Name of this layer will be adjustment layer. And for this adjustment layer, I have a very interesting plugin, Revision Plugins. Inside in Revision Plugins, I have the noise. If I apply, my noise coming smaller. So how it works? First of all, use GPU. It will be more faster and increase size, maybe 10, maybe 5. Increase tessellation, I don't know, maybe, maybe 90. Like this. Okay. Maybe more. Four. Five. Yeah. In present moment, I have noise. I haven't noise. But it looks like a little bit blur. This is normal because this is fire and during animation, uh, anyway, you will have some motion. So, but additionally, additionally, I will add for this adjustment layer one more plugin. This also revision. It will be RSMB. Is like motion plugin. Without any change, also I use GPU on. So if I have this plugin, look what I have. Yeah, maybe a little bit increase to give you some result. Ah, yeah, okay. Now it's not working. This is normally because I have only one frame. Yeah, if you have some sequences, some motion uh, moving you will have very interesting blur between some different frames. So anyway, uh, this is simple color correction, simple color correction and simple effect. The noise and RSMB from uh, revision plugins. You can download it from somewhere from internet or to buy on official site, it's up to you. And finally, if you like, you can add some additional, I don't know, some color correction or some effect. For example, we can use Red Giant or we can use Magic Bullet Suit with some, I don't know. With some color correct. Yeah, why not? So, and finally, you will have very interesting result and very interesting explosion. So, if you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel, uh, put like, Send some comments for me, send some questions if you have something and enjoy and goodbye friends.